Before leaving New Mexico, there was one place we had to visit, come rain or shine, Santa Fe. Besides wanting to see the historical buildings, the beautiful artwork weaved throughout the city, visit some of the 250 art galleries, plus eat some delicious food, we came in hopes to finally cross something off Chris's bucket list. We took a day to check out some of the oldest buildings in North America, like the over 400-year-old San Miguel Chapel. It has survived fires during revolts, windstorms, and natural deterioration, but is one of the best preserved adobe architectures. There's a debate uh, that, that's either 1356 oh, okay. or 1856. And right across the way is the home that is argued to be the oldest home in the United States, Casa de Verges. Some of the house's foundation dates back to the 13th century. Krispy Kreme clearly didn't exist because that doorway is narrow. Another place I wanted to see was the Loretto Chapel and its miraculous spiral staircase. Story has it, having no other way to access the choir loft other than a ladder, the nuns prayed for help. After nine days, a carpenter showed up, and a few months later, he had completed this staircase that had two 360-degree turns without nails or support beams. He then seemingly vanished. Now, the food here is outstanding. The red chilies, the green chilies, you can get things Christmas. I think La Choza, man, that might be one of my favorite restaurants in the country. The green chili stew here is the best that I've ever had. It's delicious. La Choza? How do you say La Choza? Maybe, I don't know. I'll double check that, La Choza. I think it's La Choza. I can't, I mean, I gotta learn Spanish. I like both red and green chilies. I. Ooh, I had a burrito that was half red, half green. Some things when they do Christmas style, it's all mixed up, and some things they do half and half. The burrito was half and half, and I love both halves. I don't know if I could pick one over the other. It's like two children that you love, and it's hard to pick a favorite. You got the, the Frito pie from out here at the Five and Dime. Look at that. Ooh. Let's see how it is. Tastes like a chili with Fritos and cheese. I like it. Chili softens up the Fritos. I'm trying to mix it up to get the cheese a little melted. It's tasty. What did Anthony Bourdain call it? He was like hot shit in a bag or something? It feels like you're holding a warm crap in a bag. Pissed off a bunch of people. It's hot though, it's burning my hand. So. Uh, I left my napkins on the bag to keep my hand from burning. Oh yeah, the Frito pie is a definite must have. After walking around downtown and Canyon Road to check out just some of the 250 art galleries, we decided to go riding and explore the nearby mountains and aspen trees. I guess this is where the really nice houses are. After waiting close to an hour for our turn to get through the construction, we made our way up the mountain. So one of the campgrounds I looked at was up here. We'd be freezing at night, yeah. And well, you can say I was a bit excited. It was fucking gorgeous. Every view was better than the last. I'd turn one corner and then I'd see like all the mountains in the distance and then you turn another corner and it's these beautiful tall yellowing trees. I don't know what these trees are called, I don't remember. But they're gorgeous. The aspen trees are beautiful. I first saw them, I think, in Colorado uh, when I was coming down in 2020. As we went up the mountain, it just became so many. I mean, at one point it was just, like a field of aspen trees, just all the yellow everywhere at this time of year, so. It is cold up here though. It's chilly. Ah, my desert jacket will keep me warm. After trekking up a little higher for a few pictures, we realized we were running late. So we hightailed it back down the mountain as fast as we could, but. <sighs> We had just missed the convoy going back down the mountain. 
it's going to be a killer. We are stopped once again, and we're on a bit of a time crunch. Worst time to be stopped. I've wanted to do Meow Wolf for years, and I was here in 2020, and unfortunately, Meow Wolf was still closed from COVID. And now we might not make it. You see, Meow Wolf sells their tickets in time slots. If you miss your time, they might not let you in, and it was already too late for us to get a refund. All we could do now was sit and wait and hope we had enough time to get to Meow Wolf. The pilot car showed up and then we just sat there for another almost five minutes. Why are we stopping? Oh my God. All right, we're to the end. So that means we'll hopefully be able to go a little faster now and hopefully we will make it Make it. Meow Wolf! Meow! We finally got to do it. Now, Meow Wolf is an immersive art exhibit. It was really cool to open up a fridge and then go into a little, you know, room or a bookcase turns into a hallway and just weird, trippy art that's telling a story that we kind of lost and just got. We, got, we just got kind of lost in the, uh, the trippiness of everything and, and playing around with stuff. Meow Wolf is the art collective and Santa Fe had the original location, but they now have two other locations. They have one in Las Vegas and they have one in Denver. As we travel around, we're gonna definitely check out the other locations. So between the art galleries as well as immersive art, this city is just covered with beauty. Santa Fe has been lovely, from the art, to the architecture, to the city itself, the people we've hung out with, the food we've ate, checking out Meow Wolf finally, which was, did not disappoint. It's just been absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Scott L., and to the rest of our support team over on Patreon. Scott, you were one of our first people to sign up for our Patreon, and we really appreciate your support. Take care and scramble on. Come here, boys. This is how we do our Patreon stuff. We have costume changes, hat, no hat. What are we gonna do next? We don't know. <laughs> okay, we're already losing our mind and it's been two weeks into mountains.